Godox AD100 Pro Mini. I know it's a long name, but today we'll talk about this product. All right, so now at the first glance, this product looks like cylindrical shape. And this is as equal as Godox AD300 Pro, but then a very small size. Now at the first glance, when you look at it, you will find a very small strobe which fits between Godox V1 and the Godox AD200 or 200 Pro. Now, I do use Godox 200 Pro as my key light and I purchased this product to use as my second light because I do not have Godox V1. But then you can still use as your key light. It is as power as, as good as, you know, Godox AD200. But yes, with 200 you get extra power, but then this is 100 watts light so you will have to tweak a little bit of your camera settings to equalize the Godox AD200. Now I have clicked few photos with Godox 100 Pro Mini uh, as a key light and I will display pictures here and you can see the picture is as equal to Godox AD200 but if you're shooting an outdoor then you need to little tweak about when you have to shoot in f16 or f14 or f11 because this might not give that power what you get from godox 8200 but still it is usable and as it is pretty small it can fit to your pocket not exactly your actual pockets but your camera bags easily and you can carry many of these and this use the same battery as the godox v1 so uh, we will talk about the battery after some time. Now, having said that, uh, there is no difference in the platform. Uh, I mean, it, it, it does has all the settings and everything as Godox 8200. I am not sure about Godox V1, but then uh, uh, that actually is quite complicated if you're actually coming from something like Godox 200. Uh, this one use the same settings you can use in manual ttl or slave mode i i actually use sony xt model trigger and that works perfectly fine with this if you have xt x2 or godox x pro trigger eventually it will work with them of course if there is a higher trigger or new generation trigger it will definitely work with that but then this works perfectly fine with Godox XT as well. So I actually sync both both of my uh, you know uh, strobes and and click photos. Now the one thing is that the the uh, the refreshing time is quite faster on this compared to Godox 200. Godox 200 takes little two seconds or 1.9 seconds of time, but then this is 1.5 seconds. Specifically when you're shooting somebody running or maybe a walking shot this is going to be very helpful because if you're using this as a key light you will be able to shoot multiple photos with the proper lighting wherein if you're shooting with godox 200 you will have few shots where lights are not there it's just because the refresh rate is pretty low but this comes with very pricey this is twenty thousand rupees on amazon you have you have provided the link below you can definitely buy from there but then adding extra 4000 you can buy godox 8200 so this is somewhere uh, as i told you earlier godox v1 and 200 because v1 around 17000 for sony and this is 24000 so this sits in between rightly at 20000 rupees in india and this can be a choice if in case you are okay to spend extra 4000 or 3000 rupees and and get some little powerful because Godox V1 is 70 watts and this is 100 watts. Definitely you can use it as a key light. On my personal experience, uh, this does not last more than four hours because definitely when you're trying to, uh, you know, have any photo shoot done and and yeah, either, either it's an indoor or outdoor, I always shoot in high sync. So uh, it does not last more than four hours because or, or sometime in three hours if I'm shooting uh, continuous shots back to back when I'm actually shooting when high high frame rates that that time this does not last for long it start beeping out and telling you that the battery is low and you need to recharge whenever there's a dress change or you can do you can always switch off when you're not using it uh, i do not have the habit of switching off the lights because uh, because i keep somewhere very up and then again i have to go back there and switch off the lights. so i think it's loss of hassle but on experience 
do not last more than three to four hours now uh, having said that that does not do not last more than three to four hours but then using as a second light this would support your 8200 life expectancy in terms of one day shoot but since it's a round head and there's a magnet around you can use your ar kit so which means the uh, the godox air set which you use uh, to to connect the barn doors and the gels everything works with the ad100 pro mini as well and uh, i'll show you how does it look like now uh, you know about this this is godox ar kit and and you have this uh, barn door uh, which you can control how much light need to be filled around you can definitely plug into the godox ad100 pro mini and not only that you get many attachments you get uh, the uh, the honeycomb grid which you can concentrate the light you you always you also get uh, the the attachment to attach gel inside so that you can give colors uh, you know uh, colors to be added to your second so that's why i use the second light because whenever i want to make a rim light like you can see as of now there is a rim light around me in or in orange color so i get that i when i do photography because i use this uh in uh, with the godox ad100 pro the second light and definitely this the, if you have a v1 you can use that as well because both of them have the same same uh, you know circle they both are matching together it's just that it's quite small and uh, and this is very handy now on the whole uh, the conclusion uh, i would say uh, the pros will be that the uh, the, the size of the strobe uh, you can carry many and this is only for those who are mostly shooting outdoors is because carrying a big strobe now this is godox 200 this is also friendly for outdoor shoots and this is not big enough but they are like 8300 and godox uh, 150L they, those those strobes uh, might be a big for you when you do outdoor shooting but then this will come very handy you can carry as many as possible and you can create many rim lights you can you can actually buy multi of the, multiple of them and then and then this is this is very much compact you can put it to your light stand you have a light uh, light stand keyhole and you can attach to your light stand and and you can use it as it is and you can use AR kit with it if you have multiple AR kit you can definitely put all of your Godox 8100 and you can actually achieve very beautiful shots now the pros will be uh, sorry the cons will be that the price it's it's 20,000 rupees for 100 watts this is little overpriced for the uh, amount of power it delivers but then uh, it is still good because they are actually pricing it in between Godox 200 and, and Godox V1 otherwise it is still a pricey product well that's it what do you think guys because as a photographer i feel that uh, i can still use a second light but then if you're looking for a key light you can still go for this but keeping in mind that you need to tweak a little bit on your dslr settings and then you can use a key light because this is not power it's anything anything beyond 200 watts is good but then if it's if you're planning to shoot with 100 watts you tweak a little bit on a dslr but then you can definitely achieve the great photos i have achieved great photos uh, I, I would put my photos at the end of this uh, video and you will be able to see that the 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 amount the photo which I have shooted has been completely shoot with the Godox 100 Pro Mini and those are as equal to Godox 200 you know uh, the one which I normally shoot with now uh, what do you think uh, you can tell me always you can put down your comment in the comment box and then and tell me how do you, you want to use this Godox 200 and that's it from today Thank you for watching. Have a great day.